welcome to DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. I'm Diamond Lewis, your host of Let's Talk DeKalb. Now, this special DCTV program celebrates the numerous contributions that women have made to the history in our county, the state of Georgia, the United States, and indeed the entire world. This show features stories about amazing women as told by our very own CEO, Michael Thurman, and our DeKalb County Board of Commissioners. Now, I'll be one of your show hosts during this program, and then later we'll be joined by a few other phenomenal women who serve as reporters right here on DCTV. So let's take a look at what we will see on this program. That looks incredible. First up on DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month, DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman has this story about the first and only female CEO in the history of DeKalb County government. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman, and DeKalb is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Leanna Levitan was the first woman elected to the DeKalb County Board of Commissioners when she represented District 2 for 10 years. In 1993, she was elected as the first and only female CEO of DeKalb County and served until 2000. She also served as a member of the Georgia General Assembly from 2002 to 2004. During that time, she served on the following committees, Transportation, Education, Special Judiciary, State Institutions and Property, and Ethics. Her administration in DeKalb County was distinguished by innovative approaches to improve the county's service towards its residents and emphasis on improving technology. She is active in the National Association of Counties, Georgia Trend Magazine, has recognized her several times as one of Georgia's 100 most influential people. And in 1993, she was the recipient of the International Women's Forum Women That Make a Difference Award. Deanna Levitan has a park named after her in Brook Run in Dunwoody. DCTV recognizes Leanna Levitan. Women's history is American history and DeKalb County salutes you. Thanks so much, CEO Thurman. Levitan, you have certainly made history here in DeKalb County, and you have certainly served as an inspiration for myself and for us all. Next up, District 1 Commissioner Nancy Jester has this story, honoring Emory University President Claire E. Sterk. I'm Commissioner Nancy Jester. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Claire E. Sterk is a native of the Netherlands and is a scientist who became the first female president of Emory University in 2016. She holds a PhD in sociology and a doctorate degree in medical anthropology. Prior to serving as the 20th president of Emory, she was the university's sixth provost and executive vice president for academic affairs. Sterk has held many leadership positions in professional organizations and is a leading public figure in public health and anthropology. She is an accomplished author of three books and publisher of more than 125 articles. Her work is widely cited and has received more than $30 million in external research funding. She is a globally renowned leader whose work has focused on social and health disparities, addiction and infectious diseases, with emphasis on HIV AIDS and community engagement. She also has focused on mentoring and empowering women leaders. DCTV recognizes Claire E. Sterk. Women's history is American history and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Jester. That was a simply wonderful piece. Now, Claire E. Sterk also holds joint appointments in anthropology, sociology, and women's gender studies and continues her research in these areas. I'm Diamond Lewis. Thanks for joining me. Paula Gwen Grant has more after the break. Make sure you stick around. We have much more of the Cab Celebrates Women's History Month just after the break. Hello, 
and welcome back to DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. I'm Paula Gwen Grant, host of Inside DeKalb here on DCTV. Thanks for tuning in. Next up in this special program, District 2 Commissioner Jeff Rader brings us this next piece honoring civil rights and television icon, Zernona Clayton. Take a look. Hi, I'm District 2 Commissioner and Presiding Officer Jeff Rader. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Zernona Clayton is a civil rights legend and a pioneer in television broadcasting. Zernona Clayton is the founder of the Trumpet Awards Foundation, a distinguished event highlighting African American accomplishments and contributions. In 1967, she became the first African American in the South to have her own television show. The Zernona Clayton Show was featured regularly on WAGA TV, CBS affiliate in Atlanta. She is known for her close friendship and work with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Coretta Scott King and was a part of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. She served at Turner Broadcasting for nearly 30 years as a corporate executive. Zernona Clayton coordinated a project called the Doctors' Committee for Implementation, which resulted in the desegregation of hospital facilities in Atlanta. She is the recipient of numerous media awards and has many scholarships and awards named after her. The Atlanta City Council honored her by naming a street and a park after her in downtown Atlanta. DCTV recognizes Zernona Clayton. Women's history is American history, and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Rader. Zernona Clayton certainly has made history. Now, District 3 Commissioner Larry Johnson has this next story on Olympic gold medalist Gwen Torrance. Hi, I'm District 3 Commissioner Larry Johnson. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishment of great women in American history. Gwen Torrance became one of the most decorated runners in history. Torrance is a native of DeKalb County and was born in Decatur, Georgia in 1965. She attended Columbia High School where she thrived in athletics, breaking the state's 220-yard dash record. She later enrolled in the University of Georgia on a full scholarship, the first in her family to attend college. During her college years, she earned All-American honors 12 times and won four NCAA championship titles. In the 1990s, Torrance became one of the best sprinters in the world winning gold medals in the 100, 200 meter, and 400 meter, and a silver medal in the 1600 meter relay team. During the 1996 Olympics in Atlanta, she won a gold medal for the 400 meter relay and a bronze in the 200 meter dash. In 2000, she was inducted into the Georgia Hall of Fame and the USA Track and Field Hall of Fame in 2002. DCTV recognizes Gwen Torrance, Women's history is American history in the Cab County Solution. Thanks so much, Commissioner Johnson, and we certainly do salute you, Miss Torrance. Very proud. Wow, it seems like we are honoring the most amazing women so far, but we're not done yet. Hold on. I'm Paula Gwen Grant, and I'll see you on the next edition of Inside the Cab here on DCTV. But in a few moments, my colleague Aviva Hoffman has more as we celebrate Women's History Month right here on DCTV. Hello and welcome back to DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. I'm Aviva Hoffman, host of The Furry Files. Thanks for watching this special program celebrating phenomenal women. District 4 Commissioner Steve Bradshaw has this next piece honoring Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Take a look. Hi, this is District 4 Commissioner Steve Bradshaw. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Ruth Bader Ginsburg earned her bachelor's degree in government from Cornell University. She graduated from Columbia Law School. During the 1970s, she served as the director of the Women's Rights Project for the American Civil Liberties Union. 
She was the first female member of the prestigious Harvard Law Review. Ginsburg taught at Rutgers University Law School from 1963 to 1972, and also taught at Columbia University from 1972 to 1980. She became Columbia's first female tenured professor. In 1970, she co-founded the Women's Rights Law Reporter, the first law journal in the United States to focus solely on women's rights. In 1980, she was appointed by President Carter to the U.S. Court of Appeals and was appointed to the United States Supreme Court by President Clinton in 1993. In 2016, she released My Own Words, a memoir that became a New York Times bestseller. Ginsburg has spent her legal career as an advocate for gender equality and women's rights. DCTV recognizes Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Women's history is American history, and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Bradshaw. Ruth Bader Ginsburg is also the second woman to be appointed as Supreme Court Justice. What a history maker. Now, District 5 Commissioner Marita Davis Johnson has this inspiring piece on Coretta Scott King, a civil rights pioneer and women's rights icon. Here's the story. Hello, I am Commissioner Marita Davis Johnson. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Coretta Scott King was a civil rights leader and peace activist who supported human rights movements worldwide and consulted with many world leaders. Mrs. King traveled throughout the world speaking out on behalf of racial and economic justice, women and children's rights, religious freedoms, and the need of those who face poverty. She established the Martin Luther King Jr. Center for Nonviolent social change in honor of her late husband, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Together they traveled the United States and the world fighting for human rights until his death in 1968. In 1974, Mrs. King developed the Full Employment Action Council, which was a group of over 100 religious, civic, and women's rights organizations dedicated to equal economic opportunities. In 1983, she lobbied in Congress to create a national holiday in honor of her late husband. Mrs. King passed away on January 30th, 2006. Her funeral was held on February the 7th, 2006 at the New Birth Missionary Baptist Church in Latonia, Georgia. DC TV recognizes Coretta Scott King. Women's history is American history and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Johnson. Coretta Scott King will always be remembered for her work, not only for women's and civil rights, but for human rights as well. I'm Aviva Hoffman. Thanks for joining me. Up next, Crystal Thomas has more right here on DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. Stay tuned. More after this break. Hello, and welcome back to DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. I'm Crystal Thomas, host of Dear DeKalb. Now, District 6 Commissioner Kathy Gannon has the next story on the legendary singer and actress Gladys Knight. Hi, I'm Super District 6 Commissioner Kathy Gannon. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Gladys Knight is a well-known singer and actress. She has had multiple R&B hits, including Midnight Train to Georgia. She has also had number one hits in pop and gospel. Knight began singing with her siblings at age eight, calling themselves the Pips. They opened for many R&B legends in the 1950s and they joined Motown Records. Knight and the Pips hosted their own TV show in 1975 and sang on various film soundtracks. 
In 2012, Knight competed on Dancing with the Stars. She has won seven Grammys and has many awards for her performances. She has also made her mark as an actress in film and television. In 1997, she published a memoir titled, Between Each Line of Pain and Glory, My Life Story. Along with the Pips, she was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1996. She also received a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Rhythm and Blues Foundation. And she recently performed at Super Bowl 53 here in Atlanta. DCTV recognizes Gladys Knight. Women's history is American history, and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Gannon. Gladys Knight also has a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. What an amazingly talented woman. Now, lastly on our show, honoring wonderful women, District 7 Commissioner Lorraine Cochran Johnson honors former First Lady Michelle Obama. Let's take a look. Hi, I'm Super District 7 Commissioner Lorraine Cochran Johnson. DeKalb County is honored to recognize the accomplishments of great women in American history. Michelle Obama became the first African-American First Lady of the United States in 2009. Born Michelle LaVon Robinson in 1964 in Chicago, Illinois, Miss Obama became a lawyer, writer, and university administrator. By the sixth grade, she was a gifted student and while attending Whitney Young High School, she was on the honor roll, member of the National Honor Society, and was the salutatorian for her graduating class. In 1981, she enrolled at Princeton University as a sociology major. Michelle Obama met former President Barack Obama at a property law firm in Chicago in 1989, where he was her intern at the time. During her career, she became Chicago's assistant for planning and development, and after three years, she was promoted to vice president of Chicago hospitals. During her time as First Lady, Michelle Obama has become a role model for young girls and women alike, and has been an outspoken advocate for education, nutrition, and physical activity. She launched a fitness program for kids as part of her MOVE initiative in 2012. She is the author of a memoir, Becoming, which was the best-selling book of 2018 and sold more than 3 million copies to date. In 2016, Essence Magazine named her one of the 25 most inspiring women. DCTV recognizes Michelle Obama. Women's history is American history, and DeKalb County salutes you. Thank you, Commissioner Cochran Johnson. Now, during her time as First Lady, Michelle Obama worked hard to make sure children in schools have access to healthy and fresh foods and stay active to help combat childhood obesity. Well, that does it for this special program, DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month. We hope you enjoyed it, and we hope you all learned a lot about these phenomenal women as well. A special thank you to DeKalb County CEO Michael Thurman and the DeKalb County Board of Commissioners for joining us. And thank you all for watching. I'm Crystal Thomas. I'm Aviva Hoffman. I'm Paula Gwen Grant. And I'm Diamond Lewis. Thank you all for watching DeKalb Celebrates Women's History Month right here on DCTV Channel 23.